Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, we are going to set up our network with the Habanero Development Kit from A Device. It has 5 gigabit Ethernet ports, 1 USB 3.0 and 1 USB 2.0 ports. We also have the eMMC connectors and the SD card slot. At the back, there is a FPC connector for display output and a PCIe connector. And lastly, we have a big heat scene. Let's power in on the ball and connecting the network cable. The ball is powered by 12 to 24 volt, so make sure you select the correct voltage for it. After that, let's connect our one port to the ball. The one port will have the interface stem ETH4. And the rest of the ports are the LAN port. Alright, so just a recap. This is the one port and these are the LAN ports. Before we get started, I would like to say thanks to ADVI for providing me this router for free. You can check out their website at adevice.com to know more about their service and products. Due to the video limit, I will not cover all the details of the board. You can visit adevice.com slash wiki and then check for the Habanero documentation for further information. On the first boot of Habanero, the computer may not receive an IP address and we need to manually configure our network interface to an IP address of 192.168.1.254 or any other IP address that is in the same subnetwork 192.168.1.1. So let's just do it. Just open the network connection, right click, properties, and then go to TCP slash IPv4 and then assign an IP address to it. So I will be 192.168.1.254 for example. And for the default gateway, you can just leave it blank. Click OK. Click OK one more time. And we should be able to connect to our router. So let's do a ping. 192.168.1.1 and perfect we got the response from the router so let's try to open lucy perfect we see open wrt a device here and due to no password set we can just click login all right let's take a look at the status we have a device Habanero DVKC2 and we have 512 megabytes of RAM. It should be more than enough to run your whole network at home or even at a small office. Right, so the first thing I will do after login to the routers is setting up a password. And the password one more time click save perfect and the next step i will be changing my time zone and the host name so this will be asia where is it all right asia k kuala lumpur and the host name i will give it Habanero. Alright, good. Click save and apply. And after that, let's take a look at our network interfaces. We have the LAN and WAN interface. All good. And let's check if the DSCP server is turned on for this LAN interface. Okay, so we have this DSCP server already on and we don't need to do anything. So just click back to overview and then perform a reboot. Right. 
So I will be changing my network interface from manual to DSCP. So let's go here and change it to obtain an IP address automatically. We should receive an IP address from the router by now. Let's take a look. Perfect, we got an IP address that is 192.168.1.102 and let's just log into the router with a new password. Now we have a router with a working LAN and WAN connection and the next step, you can try to update your router to the latest version. So either you can go with the Habanero build from a device or you can go with the Habanero build from openwrt.org so if you go to the wiki page of adevice.com on this bottom section you can find the firmware download and when you click on this link you will get the firmware built by adevice else you can open the table of hardware from openwrt.org and get your own firmware Alright, so if you take a look, you will have the snapshot version available here and you can download it from where. But in my case, I will just proceed with the build from a device. Go to system, backup, flash firmware, and then select our firmware. So this is the firmware that I have downloaded from a device.com previously and let's click open and click flash image. their image checksum and click proceed it will take a while so we can run a command line and try to ping the router Due to security reasons, wireless is disabled by default, so you may need to turn it on. Let's navigate to network wireless and turn on our Wi-Fi. So we have two radios, radio 0 for 2.4 GHz and radio 1 for 5 GHz. As you can see, the device is not active, so we need to enable it one by one. Let's just enable the first radio and enable the second radio after that let's config our ssid right so ssid open the rt24 and then on the wireless security we can put it wpa and give it a password Look good, advanced settings, we just leave everything at default and click save. We will also turn on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, so let's click edit this at 12 and then put it 5 GHz for example. And then on the wireless security, let's go with WPA2 PS case and then give it a name, click save and hit save and apply let me use my phone to connect to the wi-fi network as soon as the device connected to the network you will see an associated station show up here and here we can see the rx and the tx rate that good and we forget to do a speed test Right, so let's just do it. All right. Look good. Let's go back to the router and go to status, real time draft, and see what is going on traffic on ethernet one we have some of the packet passing by and it is 
around 4.5 megabytes per second. And how about the lot? It is just 0 0.38, so it's really good. So that's all about the basics of OpenWRT configuration with Habanero development kit from a device. So for any questions or inquiry, please leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to assist. If you see the video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.